The FedEx man doesn't ring every doorbell on the block looking for the house where he's supposed to deliver a package. Likewise, a bee doesn't waste its time ringing the doorbell on flowers with no nectar in them. She looks for flowers that have put up a sign saying, ring my doorbell. Now you see, a bloom requires something like 15 minutes to replenish nectar after it's been visited by a pollinator. And once it has pumped in more nectar, it lets the bees know about it. Obviously, the flower can't print a sign and hang it out. What it does is more like a nudge from an elbow. The plant's electrical charge changes, and the bees can feel that because the positive charge bends the hairs on the bee's body. It's the same phenomenon that makes the hairs on your arm stand up if you shuffle your feet on carpet or rub a balloon. The effect is magnified for the bee, though, because despite a bald spot on her back, she has so much hair. Oh, baby, does she have hair! Everywhere but her wings, including her legs. From 10 centimeters away, which is several body lengths for a bee, she can sense which flowers are full. Now on a flower with tight clusters of blooms, like this butterfly bush, or on milkweed, such electrical charges might not be all that useful. But if the flowers are separated at all, it can save her from walking down a bunch of short sidewalks for nothing. So far, the phenomenon of electrical communication has only been studied in bees. But it seems likely that other pollinating insects use it too. They all have hairs. Even butterflies and skippers have hairs. <laughs>